In this video, we'll be going over how to convert between Kc and Kp. Kc is the equilibrium constant using concentration, concentration products over concentration of reactants, and Kp is the equilibrium constant using pressure, pressure products over pressure reactants. This is the equation that we would use if we're given Kc and we want to figure out Kp. Kp equals Kc times R, gas constant, 0 0.08206, times the temperature in degrees Kelvin, raised to the power of delta N, which is change in the moles of gas. And you can figure that out by taking the moles of gas on the product side and subtracting the moles of gas on the reactant side. Let's try this problem. We're given the following reaction is at 500 degrees Kelvin, and we have this balanced chemical reaction, and we have the Kc, and then asks us for the Kp value. Since we're trying to figure out the Kp value, we're going to use this left equation. Kp equals Kc, 6.9 times 10 to the power of 5 multiplied by r which is 0 0.08206 times the temperature which is 500 degrees kelvin and then raised to the power of delta n so we have two moles of gas on the product side and we have a total of two plus one three moles of gas on the reactant side so the change in mole the delta n is going to equal the products two moles of gas on products minus three under reactants. So that would just be equal to negative one. Then we enter this into our calculator. And then that will give you 16816.9632, which we can just convert to scientific notation, move it over one, two, three, four places. So that's going to equal 1.7 times 10 two to fourth power because sig figs. We start with two sig figs and we want two sig figs in the very end. Now, if you're given Kp and you want to solve for Kc, you're going to use this equation instead. We can take this equation and we can just isolate Kc. And to do that, we would just divide both sides by RT raised to the power of delta N. So that's, that's how we get this equation. Let's apply that. In this problem, we're given the temperature of 1,100 degrees Kelvin. We're given the Kp for the following reaction. And then we have to solve for the Kc value. Sometimes you might just see K. K is sort of synonymous with Kc. So we're going to use the equation Kc equals Kp, which is 0 0.25 divided by R, 0 0.08206 multiplied by the temperature in degrees Kelvin, which already is 1,100 raised to the power of delta N. So delta N in this case, well, we have two moles of gas on the product side, and we have two plus, plus one mole of gas, so a total of three moles of gas on the reactant side. So once again, our delta N is just going to be two minus three, which is equal to negative one. So we'll have negative one here. Then plug this into your calculator. So that's just 0.25 divided by, make sure you put this inside parentheses, parentheses 0 0.08206 times 1,100 and rate, close parentheses and then raise that to negative one. And you should get 20, how many sig figs should we have? Just two sig figs. So you you get 22.5665, but rounding it to two sig figs, that'll just be 23. This next problem reads, in which of the following reactions is the Kc equal to Kp? Kc and Kp are gonna be equal when the, the change in moles of gas is zero when there's an equal number of moles of gas on both sides. Because when if the delta N is zero, then anything raised to zero power is just, is just one. So this entire thing becomes one and Kp equals to Kc. So why don't we go through this and just calculate the delta N. And if delta N is equal to zero, then we know that the Kc will equal Kp. In the first one, delta N is gonna equal two moles of gas on the product side, or minus a total of four moles of gas on the reactant side, so that'll be negative two. So that's not the answer. In part B, delta N change in the moles of gas is gonna equal two moles of gas, one plus one on the product side, minus one on the reactant side, and that's one. So that's not the answer, because we were looking for a change in delta N equals zero. C, we have two moles on the reactant side, minus well, two moles of gas on the product side, so that's zero, so that we know that C, is a situation when Kc is going to equal to Kp. Part D, delta N is equal to two moles of gas on the product side minus one on the reactant side. So that would just be one, not that. And the last one, delta N, 
is equal to one molar gas on the product side. We're not going to count this because this is a solid minus this actually zero moles of gas on the reactant side, so that would just be one. That means the, an the only answer to this question is C, because in all the other one, there was a decrease in the moles of gas, increase, increase, increase is only in C, in which there was no change in the moles of gas. And that's how you would convert between Kc and Kp by using these two equations and how to determine if Kc equals to Kp. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.